Hello everyone and welcome to the first SAS tutorial. I get a lot of questions about how to get started with SAS Studio for SAS On Demand for Academics. So I decided to make a little introductory video for you all to watch if you're using SAS Studio for Academics in one of your online courses. I know that I personally use SAS Studio through On Demand for Academics with the courses that I teach in the spring. So I'm sure a lot of my students will be watching this video as well, but this is just gonna be a quick introduction to SAS Studio. So when you log into SAS On Demand for Academics, you're gonna click that SAS Studio. Now in order for SAS Studio to show up, you're going to actually have to enroll in a course, okay? So if some of you guys are actually going through SAS Studio On Demand for Academics through a college course, your teacher or professor will have sent you the setup enrollment instructions for you to go ahead and get started. Now, assuming that you've already enrolled in a course and you clicked on SAS Studio, this is what is going to come up. It's going to have a blank text editor called Program Run, and it's going to have these little drop downs on the left hand side. That's going to be your server files and folders, task and utilities, snippets, libraries, and file shortcuts. The main ones that you're going to use is going to be the server files and folders and the libraries. So I'm going to pretend that this program one isn't there and that we actually wanted to create a new text file. So we're just gonna go to this drop down menu with the star and we're gonna say SAS program. You also can hit F4 on your keyboard to create a new program, okay? So this is if you wanted to get started on one of your assignments and create a new program. Now, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is save this file. So how we do that is we're going to click on where we want to save it at on the left hand side. Most of that time is going to be files home. Then we're going to go to this save as button. We're going to click files home again. Make sure you click it or you're not going to be able to save it. And say, for instance, we want to call this homework one getting started with SAS Studio. So I'm going to save that as a .sas file, which is a SAS file, and I'm going to click Save. And now we see that Homework 1, Getting Started with SAS Studio, is at the top of our screen, okay? So I'm just going to exit out of the first program it made for us. Now, a lot of you are going to either be reading data from your class folder where your professor gave you like a lib name statement. They told you the name of it. It could be data 15 and they gave you the file path for that. And then they would have access only. And then they'll have like a read only thing with a run statement, right? A lot of you guys are going to be required to post something like that at the top of your code. However, we're going to assume that you know how to post that lib name statement to access data and work with data that's already given to you. So I'm going to expand the libraries on the top. I mean, on the left hand side of my screen, and I'm going to look at all of these different libraries. Now, by default, SAS Studio is going to always have these libraries. And underneath SAS Data, you're not going to find anything, but SAS Help, you're going to find a list of SAS data sets that you're already going to have available to you to start practicing how to code in SAS. Now, I personally use a lot of these SAS data sets. You can double click on a data set and it's going to just bring up what that data set is. And we're going to get into that in another video about how to read data sets, what's columns, what's rows, et cetera. But right now we're just getting used to the SAS Studio interface and what's there. So that is where your data is located. If it's not located in a specific folder that you already have, or you can always upload data for your computer. OK, so when I expand this file homes and forgive me, there's a lot of different files on mine. 
but I see that I have the homework one getting started with SAS Studio when I expand that since that was the file that we just saved. Now say for instance, I want to upload data, either raw data, CSV files, text files, any data that I wanna upload. I'm still gonna make sure files home is highlighted in gray and I'm going to hit this upload button. And then I'm gonna choose files from my computer that I want to upload. Okay, so a lot of that, like I said, could be any type of other SAS file that you want to upload. I'm just going to personally type in a file, a DAT file of cancer data that I want to upload. And I am going to upload that. So I'm just going to go to this cancer.dat file. I'm going to hit open. It's going to show up right here and I'm going to hit upload. Okay. So anytime when you want to upload a text file, uh, an example of SAS code, anything of that nature, you can upload it with this upload button. So that's cancer.dat that you see here that I uploaded. Now, what we want to do, say for instance, we want to write our first line of code. This is homework one. I'm going to say data and I'm going to have test. So I'm creating a test data set. And the set that I'm reading from, let's just go ahead and use one of the data sets that we have in SAS Help. And that's going to be airline. So I'm going to say SAS Help dot airline this is how i call a data set within the sas help library data sets have two level names so they have the library name and they have pretty much the name of the data set afterwards so it's like having your library and then the book that you want for instance and then say for instance i want to hit run and that was the first thing that i had to do for my homework now in order to save this once again i'm going to hit this save button and then I also can run this data. So in order to run the data, you can highlight the data and you can click this running man. And when you click this running man, it's gonna have the output data of the code that you just ran, and it's going to have a log. You can check your log for any errors, warnings, or notes. So this is gonna tell you if there's any errors. So for instance, say for instance, I forgot a semicolon. And I tried to run this, so I'm going to highlight and click the running man. It's going to say error, file work.run.data does not exist. So it's all like trying to combine these two lines of code, and it's telling me right where it's happening at, per, um, normally underneath the line or underneath the data set. So I'm going to say, okay, I checked the log. I fixed my code now. Now I can run it and I'm back into my output data, okay? If I wanna get back to my code, I'm just gonna hit the code and here we have it. So now say for instance, this is what I had to do for my first homework. I'm gonna hit save. Anytime when I save, the asterisk goes away, okay? So for instance, for those who didn't see it, cause I, that went kind of fast. If I did a comment right now that just said homework one, we see that it has an asterisk in the title of my program. So that means that it's not saved. So now if I hit save, the asterisk go away. Now I can download this and email it to my teacher. So on the left-hand side, once again, I'm under servers and files. I've expanded my files home and I found the file that I just created. Now when I click on that file and it highlights in gray, I can download that file to my computer. In turn, I can upload this computer to Canvas, Moodle, Sakai, any other um, learning management system that your teachers are using, Blackboard, etc. And I can attach this file there. Now, just some other features that we want to look at when playing around with SAS Studio. And feel free to play around. You can undo your work right just like any other word processor you can copy so in order to copy and paste code in here so say for instance there was a piece of code that i wanted to copy and paste you have to use the keyboard so like control v and control c so right now i'm going to control c this and right underneath it i'm going to control v it 
So SAS Studio does not like you to use a whole bunch of right clicks. Control C, Control V. You can copy and paste your teacher's code from a text file or a Word document right into SAS Studio as well. Okay. Then if I go up here, there's some SAS help that I can search. I also can hit this down. And this is my view. So right now it shows me everything that I see on my screen. For some of you, sometimes things disappear. Either you clicked a hotkey or uh, Windows just went away in SAS Studio. So say for instance, if I uncheck task and utilities, we, say that we see that task and utilities just disappear. In order to get that back, I just have to go to view and re-click task and utilities, okay? So if you're missing anything like your libraries or you're missing this entire screen, then you can always go to tasks. I mean, you can always hit the little three slashes view and make sure everything is checked on. Okay. And so this is just a quick introduction to SAS Studio. You also had a quick introduction on how to write a quick data step. Remember your download, your upload keys. Remember how you can start a new SAS program. You're also able to import your own data into SAS as well. However, most of the time you're going to just be uploading the data file into SAS itself. And then you can also create folders, things of that nature. Remember that the log will tell you the errors and the warnings in your code. The output data will show your um, data set. And when you switch back to the code, it's going to show the actual code in the text interface. Remember, if it has an asterisk, it's not saved, so make sure you save. Your libraries are found on the left-hand side, and that's going to contain either some data that you personally uploaded in a lib name statement, or it's going to contain a whole bunch of SAS help data sets that you can work with. It's also going to temporarily store any data sets that you create in the work library. So here we temporarily created the data set called tests, and that is where test is stored. And you can double-click any of these at any time to show them in the output view or to open them up in another tab okay so that hope you enjoyed that quick introduction to sas studio let me know if you have any questions thank you